know that her name is Rachel and that the little boy likes dinosaurs, which gets us further down the road, figuratively, of course. Well, what about the ITY written on the back of the camera? I mean, we think it stands for city, right? Well, there are only two towns nearby that end with city. There's Sugar City, which is 60 miles east, and then there's Cannon City, which is 39 miles west of the US 50. Wait, what? Photo comes next, Norman? The one that's after the 80s party? Uh, well, there's the one that looks like it's taken from a moving car, and then the one after that does too, except that one's double exposed with some cantaloupes in it. Wait, a sign that read US 50 West. Mm -hmm. On to Cannon City. Okay, one more time. Big hair, then Madonna, then blurry speeding car picture, then US 50. And if she was coming here to Cannon City, we should have seen this roadside stand by now. Do you think we should go back, Oliver? Oliver? Sorry. Hmm? Oh, you're tired. You did a lot of driving today. Well, uh, so have you. I didn't realize you were such an excellent driver. <laughs> well, stick with me, kid. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> yes, you are. <sighs> you know, a year ago, I would have said that we were on a wild goose chase. I would look at these pictures and that stuffed dinosaur and the video. I would know that none of this is going to get us any closer to finding that little boy. Hmm. But I believe what you've taught me, Oliver, that that child didn't just drop a camera into a mailbox. He mailed a piece of hope. And somehow it found its way to us and here we are in a star cruiser. <laughs> we have no idea where we're going. But I know that that we're on our way and I'm, I'm trusting that we'll get there. Uh, do you believe that? Yes. Trust the timing, right? You know, sometimes I envy you. You don't have a cell phone, you don't know more. No annoying buzzing or dinging. No GPS to tell you exactly how to get somewhere or how long it should take. There is something to be said about being out on the open road without a... Oliver. What? The guy at the hotel, he said that Rachel was headed somewhere, but that she seemed... Reluctant, as if she were not sure where she should go. You know, she headed west on US 50, and she was going to Cannon City, but what if she got there and she decided to just keep going? We've been thinking that all the photos that were, they were all taken before Cannon City, but what all if? All the places in the photos aren't behind us, they're ahead of us. Yes. Sorry, just had to buy something. On the map. Yeah, shocking, I know. You have your laptop. No, I lost my hotspot. Excuse me? No mobile internet, so no laptop connection, so no GPS. Hence, the map. Who are you? And what have you done with Shane McInerney? <laughs> oh, don't worry. She's not going anywhere. Why don't we find a motel and get some rest? We'll uh, drive back to Denver in the morning and decide where to go from there. Wait, we're not going to go see the dinosaurs? Well, let's be honest. Rachel and her boy came through here three weeks ago, and they could be anywhere by now. All we have is a photograph of a letter. I don't know what else to do without a solid lead as to their next stop. And we'll just have to pray for one. 